it's there's a lot of bistros, a lot of restaurants in downtown Oakville. So one of the advantages of living in Oakville is that you'll pretty much get everything that you get in a major city. You'll get that in Oakville as well. Hey everybody, welcome back to Canadian Sea, my YouTube channel. And today's vlog is going to be another interesting Canadian adventure. We will be going to another cool city in Ontario, Canada. So make sure to keep on watching this vlog till the very end because you are going to be getting another very educational and insightful vlog. So today's vlog is going to be about, like I said, our trip to another fascinating and one of the most livable cities in Canada. And this city, especially in Ontario, Canada, in the province of Ontario, Canada, this city, I remember there was an article that I saw a few, uh, you know, about uh, that was published about four years ago uh, in Money Sense. Yeah, that's the reference. And they rated, um, I believe uh, I'm paraphrasing it, but basically they said that Oakville, which is the city that we will be visiting today. There you go. I let it out. Oakville is one of the most uh, livable and uh, great uh, you know, one of the most uh, excellent standard, one of the most, um, I should say, excellent quality of life city in Canada, uh, uh, which means that Oakville provides a great standard of living for its residents. It has some great facilities, some great companies, um, and it, uh, the, the people that live in Oakville are generally very satisfied with the high quality of life that they're experiencing while being a resident of Oakville. So we will be exploring this vlog and this particular, in this vlog, we'll be exploring the city today. Um, so make sure to like, subscribe and share this vlog and keep watching till the very end because you're going to be learning all about living in Oakville, one of the most dynamic and I should say uh, economically prosperous cities of Canada. Okay, everyone, we are finally here in Oakville. Downtown Oakville is the first place that we will be exploring in our vlog today. So let's go ahead and start exploring downtown Oakville. So right now we are walking in downtown Oakville. This is where they have a lot of businesses, small businesses, restaurants, and uh, it's right by the lake, which we will, uh, you know, I'll show you that. We'll go there in a, in a little bit as well and explore the lake. So downtown Oakville is known for quite a bit of its nice little uh, scenic and architectural beauty right here. As you can see, there's a lot of cool shops out here. There's Island View. It, it's, it's quite nicely done and it, it has a very sort of uh, cool feel to it. Um, it has a sense of history. You can see that uh, it, it's a bit calm. It's not as crazy as downtown Toronto. So it's, it's a pretty cool place, uh, I would say, for a lot of residents. And in general, so really, it's, it's, it seems like everything is, is a bit more slower, laid back, and everyone's sort of enjoying themselves and, and having a good time. The sun is out today, it's uh, November, but uh, we are having a lot of great weather today in, uh, in Oakville, Canada. So um, yeah, there you go. Just uh, gonna show you a little bit of the sunshine right there. We're having quite a bit of sunshine today. And uh, it's, it's excellent weather, as you can see. Uh, everyone is uh, just uh, enjoying their walk in downtown Oakville. So there you go. Let me show you a little bit more. Found Canada Roots right here as well. So they got a lot of shops here, a lot of cool shops. And you, you know, pretty much all the standard shops here, you'll find them here in Opal as well. There's a really cool church in the back right there. That's where we're going to go to right now. And, and uh, sort of, you know, well, we'll just look at it from outside, I guess, and, and just explore a little bit more of downtown Oakville.
Okay, we're still in downtown Oakville and I'm right here by the square and there's a lot of cool, uh, a lot of cool places out here, a lot of cool restaurants, people are just chilling, having a great time, just relaxing. Um, and it's, there's a lot of bistros, a lot of restaurants in downtown Oakville. So one of the advantages of living in Oakville is that you'll pretty much get everything that you get in a major city. You'll get that in Oakville as well. It's a fantastic city. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's right next to Toronto. So um, it's not too far from Toronto. You can get pretty much everything that you like. Um, and it's, it's, it's quite nice that way. You know, it's really nice that way. And um, yeah, yeah. Um, I can see that a lot of people are out today just because the weather is so nice and you can see this cool truck in the back right there That's that's a pretty cool truck right there. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's It's pretty nice out here pretty calm. And uh, it's it's Friday, so uh, uh, It's not that crazy for a Friday um, You know for now, I guess and um, yeah, Pretty nicely done well organized well planned city I would say, and it's very clean and kempt, and it's it's just so cool that way. So let's talk a little bit about the pros of living in Opal or what do you get if you're going to be living in Opal? What are some of the benefits? Well, the first thing is quality of life is great. It's traffic is not too crazy in and around Oakville from what I can see at least. Uh, it's a little far away from Toronto, so you get that feel of being away from all the hustle and bustle of a major city without being too far away from the major city. And uh, yeah, that's, that's something to remember. And the other thing about um, living in Opal is that real estate is a bit pricey in, in Opal. Real estate is not cheap, but the reason for that is it's just it's just a great quality of life, and uh, it's it's a very nicely done city. Everyone wants to live in a city that is uh, less traffic, not too far from Toronto, has all the amenities. That's why real estate is really pricey in Oakville. That's one thing I should say is probably not a pro. It's more of a con if you're going to be living in Oakville. Is that real estate prices? In, as you know already, real estate prices in Canada are off the charts, off the roof, off the everything. So, but, but in general, in Oakville, of course, it's a lot more uh, than a lot of other suburbs. So that's one thing to remember if you're uh, thinking about living in Oakville, is that uh, homes are not cheap here, but they're quite nice, they're not cheap. Though. This is a cool looking church right here. It's nicely done. Knox Church is the name of this church. It's beautiful. And uh, you can see it's, uh, yeah all in Canada. Trebekah. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we're right now in Trebekah coffee shop in downtown Oakville. And this is a really cool coffee shop right here. I'm just getting some coffee right there. There's some coffee right there. Just getting some coffee and I'm gonna keep on exploring the downtown of Oakville and the city of Oakville. Trebekah coffee shop right there. Trebekah coffee shop. Make sure to come down here for some great coffee. Excellent coffee here. And there's a lot of other coffee shops out here. This is the one that I just grabbed coffee from. Uh, and this is another advantage of uh, Oakville is that you get a lot of premium and high quality products in, uh, you know, uh, restaurants and boutiques and uh, cake shops and coffee shops. You get some really good quality stuff in Oakville as well. So uh, again, it's all about a good standard of living, higher standard of living. And um, you know, Oakville definitely is uh, all about that.
So one of the cool things about Oakville, and I think this is true for a lot of cities uh, in, in Canada, is that every city has its own um, collection of parks. And well, Oakville has some really nice parks. We are at one of those parks right now called Coronation Park. And one thing that I found unique about this particular park is that it's much more spacious. It has a different look to it. It's not too, it's, it's much, the pathways are much more wider and uh, you know, the park is quite expansive. Um, it's nicely done, spread out. And of course you got a great lake view here as well. So let me show you the lake view uh, from Coronation Park. So you can see some really cool pebbles out here. And then this is another cool and unique thing about the lake front of Oakville. And there's Lake Ontario right there. A really nicely done beach. And this is November guys. So it's not that, I mean, it's not, it's not that cold right now. As you can see, I'm, I'm wearing a t-shirt. Well, it has been cold, but today for some reason, it's not as cold. And uh, we have had a few strange warmer days in November. So that's why I'm here at the lake. Ontario in Oakville. This is another advantage of living in Oakville is that you get a very sort of uh, unspoiled natural feel of Lake Ontario in terms of the beach. Uh, and it's, it's got these unique pebbles out there as well and it's, it's, it's much more of a nicer beach right there as you can see there's some people right there on the beach as well and uh, it has a very unique beach lakefront feel and look uh, in general I would say. So that's another advantage if you feel love being near the lake, love being near nature. It's so quiet, so peaceful. I feel like I'm at a real beach, but instead it's a freshwater lake by the way, but it feels like it's a real beach. So that's another advantage of living in Oakville. So there you go everyone, Coronation Park. We got great downtown, great parks. But if you wanna live here, you gotta earn money, right? You have to earn money. Well, what's the situation with companies out here? What kind of companies and businesses, apart from the small businesses that I showed you, exist in Oakville, um, you know, where you can look for jobs, uh, where you can apply for jobs. And because there's always the thing, whenever you're thinking about moving to a city or living in a city, you always consider what kind of businesses are around, what kind of companies are around, because that has, I would say, a trickle down effect on that city's uh, local ecosystem and their economy. So let's go and look at the types of companies that are in Oakville. So there's another big benefit of living in Oakville is that you will have some really good quality colleges out here. One of them is right here called Sheridan College. It's a very good college. It's public slash private, I think. I'm not too sure, but it's, it's one of the major colleges in, in, the, in the province of Ontario. And as you can see, they have a campus right here. They have three campuses, one in Brampton and one in Mississauga, and this one is in Oakville. So you got a really nice, cool campus out here. And this is, again, uh, for people that are uh, thinking about their kids, their education, the future of their kids. You know, uh, they're always considering different uh, educational institutions. So remember, McMaster University is not too far from here in Burlington and, um, and, and Hamilton, I should say. And University of Waterloo is also not that far from Oakville. So you got some major universities at a distance, and this college is right here uh, in Oakville. So um, that's another thing to remember. Um, another benefit for everyone, and as you can see, there's GO trains, uh, sorry, GO buses that come on here as well. Um, so that's easier for students to sort of get around and, uh, you know, um, make sure that they're uh, 
able to uh, further their studies um, if they're residing in, a, in Oakville, Canada. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you a bit more of an up-close view of this really nice campus building of uh, Sheridan College uh, in Oakville. This is their Oakville um, campus and it's quite a nice campus actually. Let me show you. It's, it's, uh, it's a very nicely done campus out here. There's one building right there. Then you got the S right there for Sheridan College. And then you got that big, nice campus building right there as well. So it's 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 a really cool and nicely done campus uh, for Sheridan College. And uh, you know, it's it has lots of different programs, lots of different degree programs, certificate programs, continuing education programs. Uh, I'll be talking more about education in Canada in a separate vlog. That's that's a whole different topic altogether by itself. Uh, but yes, Sheridan College does have uh, various graduate certificate programs, degree programs, um, you know, continuing education programs, micro credentials. All those things are are uh, you know something to keep in mind if you are thinking about. Uh, your education, furthering your education, or in general, just uh, your kids' education uh, as well. So, uh, Sheridan College offers a lot of different options for um, their prospective students for anyone that is looking to develop additional skills and whatnot. So, um, there you go, Sheridan College. You've arrived. There you go, everyone. Um, one of the major companies housed in Oakville. This is the Oakville assembly uh, for the company of Ford, the Ford Motor Company. This is their assembly building. As you can see, this is their assembly building. Ford assembly building. And then in the far back, you can actually see the Ford uh, company as well. So, and on the other side of this uh, Ford uh, facility right here, you can see Siemens right there, another major company that is uh, that has its uh, branches in Oakville. So you got Ford right there. You got Siemens right there. So in essence, you got all these major companies right here in um, in Oakville as well. There's quite a few different companies out here, um, but these are some of the two major companies that I can think of. There you go, Ford Motor Company, Canada Limited. So there you go. You had a look at Ford Assembly and the Ford building right here. One of the major companies that's housed in Oakville. And we also had a look at Siemens. Now there's a lot of other companies out there that are situated and located in Oakville. There's, uh, there's Sheridan College right there. There's a couple of, there's private schools, some major private schools. There are some, um, I think, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. There is, there are hospitals. There's a lot of healthcare companies, a lot of smaller businesses a lot of private schools. Um, there's a lot of other smaller, lesser known businesses. There's also all, you know, you saw a look, you had a look at the BDO office. There's also the PricewaterhouseCoopers office that was right here in Oakville. So I just wanted to, by, by showing you all these different companies and, and talking about all and listing all these companies, I want you to know that this is one of the major reasons why Oakville has uh, a higher standard of living is because of these all these cool companies out here. People work in these companies, they live in Oakville. Now, not all of them might be living in Oakville, but certainly that's it does have an effect on, on the area as well, right? If you have major companies and their branches uh, in the vicinity of a city. So um, yeah, those are some of the companies and businesses that you can keep in mind if you're looking for jobs when you move to Oakville. Now, I hope you enjoyed this Oakville trip with me in Ontario, Canada. Another 
you know, great city to live in Canada. There's a lot of different cities out there. You don't necessarily have to live in Toronto, guys. Okay, that's what I hope. Uh, I can see that a lot of you enjoyed that Kitchener vlog. And, um, you know, that's why I'm doing all these different trips to different cities out here um, to show you what Canada has to offer and, and, you know, that you can live outside the main GTA area as well uh, and have a great quality of living. So, again, the pros of living in Oakville, great, uh, great standard of uh, great, uh, you know, excellent quality of living, uh, great hospitals, uh, excellent economic opportunities, um, beautiful, um, you know, um, beautiful downtown, beautiful facilities out here cons of Oakville. Well, housing prices here are insane, okay? So I want to keep it real, guys, okay? I don't want to give you a false picture. It's expensive to live in Oakville. Uh, the second thing, um, you might find that it does not have all, you know, uh, to go get anywhere, you, it will still take a little bit of time, but it's not going to take a lot of time. But sometimes for some people, they might miss the big city feel uh, uh, if they're living in Oakville. So uh, Oakville is a bit quieter, which again, the advantage, this should go into the advantage that if you're looking for a quieter place with less hustle and bustle, Oakville is a great city to live in. Uh, but yeah, that's the number one con I would say is that housing prices are, are, are quite high. Uh, the other um, the thing that I, I would say is that there's not uh, a lot of major universities in the city. I showed you Sheridan College. Now, I also mentioned that to drive, to go to universities, you might have to drive out to Hamilton, to Mississauga. Uh, they're a bit far. So again, those are some of the cons that I would think, that I can think of. And this brings us, uh, this brings us towards the end of our vlog. I hope you enjoyed our Oakville trip on Canadian Sea. Make sure to hit that like button. If you did, mention in the comments what you thought of this vlog. Did you find it useful? If you'd like to see future, um, you know, vlogs about, uh, you know, in a similar style about different cities of Ontario, Canada, please mention that in the comments and I'll be happy to bring you, uh, you know, um, a good view and a good experience of what it is like to uh, live in, the, in, in, in these cities. What are some of the advantages of living outside uh, the Toronto area? And, uh, you know, what uh, these other uh, lesser known places uh, and lesser known cities in Canada has to offer for anyone that is willing to move to them, okay? Brings us towards the end of our vlog. I have to go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please show your support by liking, subscribing, and sharing the content. And don't forget to hit the bell icon because I thrive on your support. I look forward to your support. It is you guys who will determine, um, you know, whether these vlogs are, are useful. I mean, the more views I get, the more uh, comments that I see, I feel motivated, guys. You know, I'm a human being. I, I need that motivation. I want to know if these vlogs are contributing or adding to your knowledge in any way. Uh, so make sure to do that. Until next time, bye-bye from Canadian. See ya.